Welcome everyone. In this tutorial series, we're going to be exploring how we can use Unity 3D, which is a game engine, to make apps. Um, you may be wondering why you would want to use a game engine to, to make apps. There's a number of reasons why. One of my favorite reasons is that I get to write code once in C Sharp, and I have to worry about writing in Java for Android or in Swift for iOS. Uh, but I can write in C Sharp and develop my screens in an easier interface such as Unity and then deploy to the, uh, all my targets uh, with, with minimal hiccups. So that's one of my favorite reasons to do it. A personal favorite reason is because I know Unity and I was trained in Unity. Uh, but in being trained in that, I, I've understood uh, that there's some huge benefits to working in Unity. So. Uh, so in this tutorial, we're, we're going to have three main tasks that we're going to work on. One is we're going to download and install Unity. Two is we're going to open a sample project. And in that sample project, we're going to explore the Unity editor, which consists of an inspector, hierarchy, project settings, etc. So what is Unity? Well, let's head over to the Unity website and we can look at, at some of the stuff they have. So let me just drag my browser window here for you. And we're going to type in Unity. And you, it should be unity3d.com. We'll click on that. And so here we can explore what Unity is. We can look at the different uh, uh, options that we have within Unity. Now, the, right now, as of this recording, uh, they're at Unity 2017.3. Now, Unity used to uh, be on a, more, a different versioning system. Uh, when I first started using Unity, I used Unity uh, version 3.5. And then after the 3.0 life cycle, or 3, it was 3.5, but that was part of the 3.0 life cycle. So after the 3.0 life cycle, which usually lasted about two years, they went to the 4.0. And I really started using a lot more during 4.6. The reason being is which, what we're going to explore in this, this video series is that for, Unity 4.6, they introduced their Unity. UI system, which is really nice. And that's what we use to make apps with. Uh, one of the main reasons we want to use their UI system is they have built-in screen resolution uh, converters. They don't really call it that, but that's basically what it is, um, is you can scale to screen size. You, you can keep it no matter what screen you're on. It can compensate for that screen resolution. So that way it makes your design a, a little less hectic, especially with Android. We have all these different Android devices with so many different resolutions. And similar with iOS, you have a few different ones now. Not as many as Android, but it will, um, it will help in development in your development lifecycle. So... This video you're, sh that you're showing here is kind of one of their, their baby projects. It was rendering in real time. Uh, they made a movie in Unity, and Unity's got some new movie editing things too, so you can, you can make movies with your 3D models, and, and they have a nice uh, video series on there. I urge you to, to Google that and, and check it out. Uh, I can even put some links down in the description of the video as well. So... But yeah, that's one of my that's one of my favorite things. And if you look down here, they've got all these different videos you can watch. Uh, you can learn game dev from A to Z. Uh, they have so many really cool things, uh, and they have a blog. And this blog is really nice. You can go back through and read through the blog, see the new features they've had coming out, and you can even find more tutorials and stuff that I may not cover. Or they might go more in depth with stuff that I cover. So yeah, I, I urge you to go through and uh, explore their their website and check out what they have. Now, full disclosure, I am a Unity certified developer. Uh, I'm not paid by Unity or any of that kind of stuff, but uh, but I am a certified developer. I had to take a you know certification test. Now I'm actually looking at the next tests too. But anyway, I digress. So let's look at Unity. Uh, we want to look at the website here. Look at Unity 2017.3, and we're and uh, I'm most of you probably don't have Unity, never heard of it. So we're gonna we're gonna hit this button right here. Get Unity. And when you get to this Get Unity page, you're going to see three different options. You're going to see the personal, the personal option here. You're going to see the plus option. You're going to see the pro. For the purposes of this, we're going to be looking at personal. Uh, if you want to know the difference between plus and pro, uh, in a nutshell, it really depends on how much money you make. Uh, so if you look down here, if you make 
under two hundred thousand uh, dollars, you would in your business you would use plus. If you make over that, you're going to use the pro option, and they give you other things like analytics are involved, um, seat management, meaning you know your licenses that you're able to give out to your employees if you're at a business, uh, different reporting of performance. Um, so yeah, uh, for the purpose of this, we're just going to use personal, um, and then if you know on your at your own leisure, if you want to try to you know do the plus, you can. But we're going to do personal. We'll hit the button here. It's called try personal. And there's giving disclosure if your money if you make more than a hundred thousand dollars in revenue, uh, you're not permitted to use Unity Personal. I imagine most of you are not or will be eligible to use it. So we're going to click here and download the installer. So depending on the browser you're using, this will show up. I'm using Chrome, but I'm going to keep this. And once it's finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Unity Downloader Assistant. Sorry, this showed up on um, my other screen. So let me pull this over. So this is what should pop up on your screen when you do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just double click that guy. I'm gonna, it's telling me, you know, are you sure you wanna open it? Yes, I do wanna open it. You can read this, uh, continue. We're gonna continue again, agree. And these are the components is asking if we wanna install. Um, you definitely want to install, you want to have all these installed. Unity's 2017, MonoDev, which we'll talk about later, but that's our, um, that's our IDE, our editor that we'll be using to code in for the light coding that we'll be doing. Documentation, sure, we'll go ahead and download that. Standard assets, download the example projects, that's what I'm going to use to kind of introduce you guys to some of the Unity things. Uh, Android build support, if you're going to be building for Android, and we will talk about that a little bit later, Go ahead and download the Android build support. Uh, if you're on iOS or you're going to be building for iOS or on Mac, uh, download the iOS build support. So make sure these are clicked. Uh, I'm Because I do some Vuforia things, I'm going to go ahead and click the Vuforia option. Um, in Windows build support, I'm just going to click that because I do. Uh, actually, I'm going to check that I'm not going to do that because I'm on Mac and you can't do that on Mac. Uh, I don't have the uh, I, TV OS, I don't have Linux, but you can see there's a lot of different things you can build for, but we're really mainly concerned about the Android and iOS for the sample that we'll be doing. Uh, the Vuforia is optional. If you want to explore that, you can. Okay, so we're going to continue, and we're going to put in, if you have a password, we're going to put in the password. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. And we're just going to let that load. Now, <clears throat> this will take some time to, especially with all those options, this may take a while to download and install. So if you want, you can pause the video um, and then you can come back. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fast forward, but you can pause the video and, uh, and then come back once it's, it's done installing. Okay, so now it, it should show you that the installation was successful and you can, if it's not clicked, it should default to click to launch Unity. We're going to go ahead and launch that. Let's close here. And here you go. So <clears throat> for me, since I've already been working on Unity a little bit, I have, it usually shows your last four projects that you've opened up. But for you, if you've never opened up Unity before, you, this should be, this area here should be empty. So uh, we just, it, it should default to the own disk right here. Uh, but in case it doesn't, you can click it. <clears throat> we're not gonna be working in the cloud right now. And what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click a new here. So we want to create a new project and then we will name our project so for this we're going to name this um, we'll name this UGA sample uh, app and then the location can be wherever you want I usually have a spot on my computer that I do that I have and I don't have it here so I'm creating a new folder I like to have a folder called dev and everything in my dev folder 
has to do with the development app development or you know app or, or games so I'll just click dev we're gonna open so it will save UGA sample app into my dev folder and for our purposes this app will be a 2d application so I'm gonna click the 2d mark there now you can also from here you can add asset packages which some of these used to come default and they've changed it over the years but we'll let's click on that and explore the asset packages I think I actually need to sign in first so let's sign in I closed this out because I wasn't sure I wasn't using the right password I've never had this happen to me before. All my years of using Unity, it took that long to load and to check my credentials. We're going to try something else. See if it will let me log in on the website. So, from here, we're going to create a new project. We're going to call this um, UGA We're going to call this UGA app. UGA capital UGA and well, let's do this all lowercase. UGA underscore app and it's going to be a 2d and we're going to and oh and I want to point it to that folder that I made earlier the dev folder I'm going to open that my organization is that and then we're going to add uh, I'm going to turn off analytics we're not going to be using analytics uh, this is more of a pro feature anyway and, and for the purposes of this tutorial you, you probably won't need it but we're going to add asset package um, I guess it's not really gonna let me so we can add them from the store I'll show you how to how to get to the store and do that so okay so now you have this set up we're gonna create project and then this pops up that popped up on my other screen but it's showing we we're registering the project and then this pops up here letting you know how far it is to importing other assets and then unity will open up it opened up a mother screen so let me pull it over for you And there you go, this is the Unity Editor. Uh, without importing any existing packages, um, this is the base editor, what you see.